Welcome back. Let's return to our other major story tonight, Canada's ongoing COVID-19 epidemic. And with us is uh, respirologist Dr. Samir Gupta and infectious disease specialist Dr. Isaac Bogosh to answer more of your questions. And Dr. Bogosh, let's start with you. Given the 14-day incubation period and the fact we've been in virtual lockdown for three to four weeks, if we all self-isolate or practice social distancing, is the virus going to disappear completely? Uh, unfortunately, it, it really won't under practical situations. Now, in an imaginary situation where 8 billion people on planet Earth were in isolation for a period of 14 days, yeah, that, that might actually happen. But of course, we know that will never be the case. Uh, people will move around despite physical distancing measures. And sadly, even a little bit of community transmission can set off uh, new chains of infection. So this will slow down the spread of infection, but sadly, it would not eliminate the virus from the Earth. Dr. Gupta, a lot of talk about vaccines and uh, hence this question. Are we at risk of being given vaccines that have not been tested for long enough? No, I think, you know, the reality is we all kind of wanted a vaccine yesterday, uh, but typically it takes 12 to 18 months to develop a vaccine. Uh, I do think it will be faster in this case, not because necessarily because we're going to skip steps, but just because we're seeing this unprecedented level of collaboration, you know, between pharma companies, we're seeing all this scientific interest, we're seeing all this funding. It really is kind of the whole world's problem. Um, and the trials that we are hearing about in humans really are trials to determine, you know, what's the right dose and is it safe? We're not at the point of trials to determine whether it's effective. Dr. Bogosh, I hear a lot of people asking about uh, mutations of the COVID-19 virus. And, and the question from one of our viewers is, has the virus ever mutated in a significant way? I think we have to clarify the word mutation and remember that every single virus mutates. All mutation means is some change in the genetics of the virus. This happens to every single virus. And we often have this perception that mutation means something's gonna get more strong or more virulent or more dangerous. That's not the case. In fact, most mutations do nothing. And scientists can harness the change in these mutations and the change in the genetics of a virus to really determine interesting things like how long a virus has been in one place and compared to another. But really, if, if people are thinking that these mutations may mean that the virus is stronger or more dangerous in one location compared to another location, that is not the case. The virus has mutated a little bit, but that just helps us understand where the virus is and how long it's been there. But the virus is no more dangerous in place A compared to place B because of any changes in the virus. Thanks for clearing that up. Dr. Gupta, next question to you. Without adequate testing, how will we know when it's safe to begin opening up cities, provinces, and the country? I would say we just won't know. Um, we do need that testing. I think for us to feel comfortable sending people back out there, we really are going to want to understand how this virus is behaving. And to know that, we're going to want to know exactly who has this virus and who doesn't but also who has had the infection and has a reasonable degree of immunity to it. And to know those things, we need enough tests. In other words, we need community testing, but we also need accurate enough tests. And that means that we need to understand with respect to all these various tests that are now out there, what the so-called false positive and false negative rate is for each of these tests. So we, we do need that testing and we need more information. I always say this, but it, it bears repeating. I really appreciate all the time uh, you and your colleagues have taken and how clearly you explain the science to us. So thank you very much. Stay safe. Anytime. Yeah. And we'll continue to ask your questions about COVID-19 on The National each night. So send those to us. You can message us directly on Instagram at CBC The National, or you can send us an email at covid at cbc.ca.